So really to break this down, we should first look at what consent is under data protection regulations. So under GDPR, consent is one of the legal ways that you can process data of an individual. And there's several ways that you can process data under something like GDPR. So you could process data if you have a legitimate interest from an individual or under contract. And one other way is under something called consent. So to actually gain consent of your users to process their data, you need to be providing them with enough information that they understand what data you're actually collecting from them, why you're collecting that data, how long you're going to be storing it for, and how they can actually change this in the future. What we do with the consents management framework is that we allow our clients to really define what those categories are. A category in the consents management framework is really a purpose of why we're actually processing that data. So for example, if you're collecting an email address of one of your users, then the reason why you're processing that data could be to send them your weekly newsletter. So inside Exponia, the consent category name would be weekly newsletter. Then once you have this as a category, through the consent page, your customers can opt in and out of this category, and that would then determine whether they're actually consenting into or out of being sent the weekly newsletter. Because we allow you to set as many categories as you like, and you can determine those categories, it can give you complete um, flexibility over the different categories that you have directly in Exponia. The other problem that clients typically run into when they're actually collecting consent is making sure they have the record of when they've gained this consent from their users and what time, what day. Because if you ever have an audit or a data protection in inspection, then you need to make sure that you can show when you gained consent from a user to actually process their data and how you can actually delete this if they do request this in the future. And in, inside Exponia, by using the consent management framework, then you can directly show this to the authorities or if you're being audited, where this is actually being stored, who has consented at what time, and you can adjust that if it's needed. The other thing about the consent management framework is that it's connected to a consent page. So your users can opt in and out at any time. And this satisfies some of the requirements under data protection regulations, including GDPR and CCPA, to be able to adjust your consent preferences. So under CCPA, this will be related to do not send my data, whereas under GDPR, it would be simply to exercise your data subject rights and opt out of being sent emails. So at the moment, the, the landscape is changing slightly because of ITP, and so that's intelligent tracking prevention which is being utilized in several different browsers.